Hello, Power Users. Today we will be looking at choices from the Dataverse type of field and how we should reference this field inside our Canvas app. How can we search this uh, choice column in our Canvas app based on hard coded values, based on drop down, uh, based on la labels or any kind of text inside our Canvas app? So, our example is really simple. We have a board game table with the data and our board game table have column name and our board game ta table also have a board game type. This type is a choice field. As you see, I've already entered the data, the card game, the board game type to Abyss. And this will be our example. We will try to find this, uh, this record based on the column from the canvas app. In the columns, in our board game table, I have board game type board game, which is a reference to a choice field, because choice, choice will be board game type. In here we have the items, all the items. And in the board games, I have the reference uh, for the choice because the board game type was, was the choice which already was created in, in our data verse. So, first of all, I, my first example will be the hard coded choice values. So, this will we'll give you a first glance how to reference our choices in the dataverse. First of all, we have the lookup uh, function. This lookup function may have two or three arguments. The first argument we will be setting the source. The source is the choice inside our dataverse. This will have to be prefixed with the choice uh, fun function. And then we will go to the board game type. This is the name of our choice in the dataverse. So this is this is sitting right here. Without the choices, this won't work. This won't have any results. And let's pretend that the value is the is the number of the choice. This uh, this is the the number which is sitting sitting here so without those commas we have the value of the choice here and based on the value we are looking to, for the text and the text will be card games card games sorry because this is the text here so if i reference the the text and make the text from the value I will get my, my lookup uh, board game type. And from there, after the dot, because this will be a record, the record of the choice, this. And as you can see, you have the, the value here. And the data is supported for evaluation, but it, when I am using the, the dot notation and press the value, I will get my card game. Then it will be in the type of option set, data type. Based on uh, this, uh, this example, I can create a uh, first, first example of how to reference uh, and how to find the records. So I want to look up the board games, which is which is my main table with all the data, with the abs data here. And in this table, I want to check for the board game type board game, which is my choice reference of the original choice. That's why I've used the parentheses and wrote board game. So 
I'm comparing my board with my choice, which is option set choice type to board game type and card game inside. This will find me first matching record and the first matching record will be Abyss. So I'm uh, after the dot notation, I'm grabbing the, the name, the title or my board, which is Abyss. So this is possible, but in most cases, this won't fit your scenario uh, in which you will be selecting the choice field from the from the drop downs or from the from the labels etc so next i have my usual examples now we'll be starting from not not so efficient or not always working examples and we will work our way down to the best solution in in my mind to the two best solution which is 6 and 8 so first of all, what can we do? We can look up our board game tables and look up the choice fields. Compare this for, to the lookup uh, from which I'm taking the choices of the board games. So this is my main table with the board games and this is my choice table. I'm, I'm referencing, I'm filtering the records based on this criteria and text. Of the value must be the same as label text value of choice text. This is here, string there. This is just a label. I will be referencing this label in most of examples. So when I have the text, what you will have to know is the delegation. Delegation will be a problem for this. So if you have more than 2000 records in side your table, you cannot use this example. You cannot use any yellow example I've already marked. If you don't, if it's not a problem, then you can go with it. It still may not be not as elegant, elegant as you would like it to be. So in this example, the lookup, we will be taking the record here, here. This is our lookup record. And when we have this record, we will, in the dot notation, grab this record and pull the value out of it. And this value must be same as this value. This will work, but if you have more than 2000 records, the delegation will fail. It failed in many examples I had already and I had to rebuild, rebuild such code. Next code is just the same code as before, but we are not using lookup, which have two arguments, like our regular lookups, but we are using the lookup with three arguments, with the value inside, not with the dot notation. This will fail, fail because we are trying to grab this record, and I believe that inside of this record, it's only grabbing the GUID, and after the, the GUID is grabbed, the value is still missed because it's not used in our application for anything. So based on anything else than this, this uh, equation. I'm not sure exactly why this is failing, but let's be advised that if you are using the lookup with three records, not two, uh, sorry, with three arguments, not, not uh, two arguments, if you are not using the dot notation, this will fail. This will produce no value. This is, but I've seen this uh, code in a couple of other makers' uh, applications, so be advised. Fifth example is basically the same as, uh, as example number three. We are using the, the lookup. We are using the three arguments lookup, so it should fail. But if the text is, is grabbed from this value, it actually worked. The, simple as that. And uh, we are not referring to the choice, the, the option set type of the choice. We are changing this to string. So we are comparing the, this string, which will produce the correct value, and with this string, which is based on, on our current board game. Oh, sorry. 
And for this, we are grabbing the name as well. So this produce abyss. So this is something I, I, I think you shouldn't be ever using. It's produce unnecessary steps. It's text comparison. It's not needed. Sixth example is example in which you have the source of search term for the, for the choice column in the text. It's working and it won't deliver delegation. So it's delegation free. This is, this, uh, this is a same example as the, as the example number three, when we were using the, the lookup and took the value, but, but instead of this lookup and the value, we are moving this part of the formula into the variable. I have a button here, which sets the variable for the lookup choices. And still it's, it's the same. It's, it's looking for, for the text of the value, same as the text in our label. Then it's moving the value and we are setting this to the variable. And inside this code, we are just referencing the variables. So this is possible. You can do this with variables, context variables, collections, uh, whichever suits your needs based on specific application. And this won't produce delegation. It found me uh, the abyss record if, even if I had already 10,000 records. So it's working. In here we have the lookup. So if you want, you can move this to on visible of the screen, create this variable, and then use it for referencing. If you have the, the text uh, from which you are taking the value of the choice. This is, this is a good example, in my opinion. Later this is basically the same example as the, 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 the third one, but instead of the lookup, we have the first filter which is for many people just same thing as uh, creating the lookup field. This is, this of course will, will produce the same result as the third example with delegation. It's not recommended. And finally, last but not least, the, our F, F example, when we will be using the, the dropdown, and instead of the text in the dropdown, we are using the correct references to the choices. So in the choice fields, we are choosing the choices and the board game types. In here, we have no strings here. It's not the same as using the label early on, because in here we have the string. And actually in here we have, we have uh, the option set. And based on this option set, we can create this easily. This option set will be equal to, to this option set. You have to use the dropdown selected value. If you use the dropdown selected text, let's check out what we, we produce. As you can see, the, the equation is, uh, is failing because we have incompatible types. For on the left side, we have option set value as uh, the same as was used in the dropdown, but instead of using this option set value from the dropdown, we are changing it to text. It's unnecessary step. You shouldn't be doing like this. You should be just use selected value, which will produce the abyss correctly. This is it. This, I think I've managed to work through each and every mistake I've so on the forums and what I, what we have as a conclusion is you can use the variable. If you have to really have to compare the string to the lookup choice. And if you don't, if you don't, please, you just use the dropdown with the correct types, with the correct items, same as the items you're referencing. This is the most easier example you can do and it will 
save you a lot of time, problem debugging, and also will save you from the delegation. Okay, what can I say? If you like this, you can subscribe. You can look at my other Power Platform videos. I made a ton of the, these recently with what I think are interesting examples. So go check them. Have a good day, night, and life, wherever you are, wherever you are. See you.